In this video, I'm going to show you how to expand appearances so we can turn things like pathways and text into shapes. So first I'm gonna use the pen tool and set up a pathway. And right now I have a very thick uh, pathway and I can change the properties about it so that it looks like an, an interesting sort of shape. I have this now like snake sort of thing. Now, something to note with a pathway is that the stroke follows the pathway, but it's not its own thing. It goes by a set rule. This is coming out uh, 72 points outside of that at its widest part. And since I've asked the profile to taper at the ends in a specific way, it does so. Now, if I try to adjust this like by like erasing or changing what we perceive as a shape, it won't do it because the only things the eraser can change is the line itself. And if I cut that line, it then applies that 72 point distance at that widest point and then tapers from the ends. And it's giving us kind of strange results. So it's not ideal for shape making. So if I wanna adjust this more, what I'll have to do is change this. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I have it selected. I'm gonna come up to object and then expand appearance. And sometimes we'll have the option for expand. Sometimes we'll have the option for expand appearance. It just depends on what object we're clicking on. What expand is going to do is it's going to take it from a line, um, which this still kind of looks like it's uh, just a line, and turn it into a shape. So we can see we have the anchors that I can adjust, as well as if I want to uh, do any other things that I could do with a shape, like erase from it, I have that ability because we've expanded it into a shape. And it looks like it left over the original line that was, was a part of that, um, but that's okay. I'm going to ungroup it so it's no longer the line and that, and I'll just delete that old line. So now we just have this shape. This is very helpful if you accidentally use like the brush tool, I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger, and you brush paint out you know, something uh, in your scene, and then you realize that you want to edit it, notice, again, these are all different lines, and we can't edit them like we would shapes. So what I can do is I can grab all of them, come to Object and Expand Appearance, and now that these are uh, now shapes, I can do things that I would normally with shapes, uh, like Erase, or Adjust the Anchors, or use like the Pathfinders or Shape Builder to combine them together. And I'm gonna use the shape builder to combine each of these pieces together. So that it's one solid shape. And then I can edit this more freely and erase, add some dots, whatever it is that I need to do to my overall shape. This can also be very helpful for text. If I lay down the type tool and I'm gonna make, a, make this a little bit larger so that we can see, there we go. And I think I'm going to set some standards. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. I'm going to fill this with, with the color. We can see that it's pretty interesting. And while I could use the type tool and highlight individual letters and then come to the properties and play around with those uh, so that I can you know, add maybe a rotation to an individual letter or change how high or low that is, it's still, it's kind of challenging playing with every individual one, especially if I know that I'm not gonna go back into this and then retype it into something else. So using that same method, I'm going to click on this with the selection tool, I'm going to come up to object, expand, and you can see we got it uh, now on expand and not expand appearance, uh, it just changes depending on the object. And we might get this pop-up window asking, how do we want to make this? And I'm going to make it an object that has a fill and a, uh, that has a fill. So we can see that it's uh, now an object. I can't use the type tool to type back into this, um, but it does have anchors. Anchors I can uh, I can click on and adjust, um, as well as if I need to, I can use the eraser to erase out little sections to kind of play around with the overall shape. It still functioned as one big old group, but if I come to the group and ungroup, now I can freely move around each of these objects 
and make whatever sort of shape I find is interesting or whatever sort of uh, arrangement I find interesting with this text. So that is expanding pathways and type 